My name is Jeremy Crosby. We're in for another Fitchburg Road Construction update. I've got my friend Bill Balky on the line. Well, at his house uh, in beautiful Fitchburg. Bill, uh, welcome back to the show. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well. Uh, family's well, so we're surviving what, what we're doing here. Fantastic. Crosby household is doing well. Andrew's household is doing well, although he's going crazy, Bill. Just, uh, just in case you were wondering. No I'm always wondering. <laughs> no, comment. <laughs> no comment. Bill, let's jump right into it on uh, Fish Hatchery Road. Uh, uh, people, if you haven't noticed changes, <laughs> they have shown up here now. Uh, tell us uh, what we've got going on. Yeah, we did our major uh, construction switch yesterday on Monday or whatever day this is of the week. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but we did it on Monday. And uh, as you'll notice that there's, there's probably a lot more traffic backups uh, where we're switching over and doing the, uh, the yellow construction zone right now. And uh, we got one lane of traffic in each direction. It's open to all the businesses up there. We got driveway accesses, but uh, we do have one lane of uh, travel in each direction out there right now. Uh, as you noticed, uh, it probably takes a good you know, 15 to 20 minutes of extra time to get through that area during the peak times. So allow for some extra travel time uh, if you have to travel through that area. Yeah, and you'll notice that this goes all the way up to the belt line uh, uh, and, and then down uh, to, uh, does that go all the way up to post and even down uh, post? Actually, I could probably just go back to my map there, huh? Down to traceway? Down to traceway, right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, seeing some, uh, some backups in those areas there. One thing that we did notice uh, was some of the traffic going southbound over the belt line. Um, that the right lane needs to turn right or go straight through and the left lane turns left. So we've seen a few people that are in that left lane that think it's still a through lane, but it's not anymore. So uh, it's important to, to note that the left turn or the left lane turns left and the right lane that you're traveling in that used to be the right turn bus lane now it goes straight through all the way through. I got it. That's a pretty good description there. And uh, looking up, uh, look, I'll go back over to the map here. Um, you said there was still access to all the businesses uh, in this area, so they're doing their best to keep the access open uh, for businesses. I, we've heard that the traffic has really picked up, uh, Bill, in this area. Uh, what, uh, what would you have to say on that front? Uh, yeah, uh, since early last week, we've seen an increase in the traffic, uh, people traveling through the area. Um, it's on all of our roads that we've seen. So I think people are starting to get back out there again and, and doing some things in the community. Yeah, so uh, encourage people to obviously slow down in those areas, be patient, uh, and uh, you will be having a detour coming up as well for, con for this construction. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yes, on uh, Tuesday night, we're going to be uh, closing down the intersection uh, south of Greenway Cross to do a water main crossing. So starting at 8 p.m., on uh, the 28th through 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we're gonna be closing down that part of the intersection, detouring traffic on Fish Hatchery Road, uh, Post Road to Index and Greenway Cross and vice versa. So uh, it'll just be, hopefully it'll be less time than that, but uh, you know, barring any uh, construction concerns or construction problems that we have out there, it might, it could last that full, full time. Yeah, and like I said, uh, happening in the overnight hours here. And this uh, exhibit uh, will be put up online, and we'll try to try to make sure we get that out to everybody as well as we get uh, closer uh, to that uh, closure. Any other updates, Bill, up on uh, the Fish Hatchery Road project? Not, uh, yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're going to be in this for the long haul uh, through June. So be patient with your, your uh, travels through the area. Uh, our construction workers will appreciate that. And uh, if you can stop into the businesses up there to patronize them, that would be great as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I know the times are tough right now to, you know, uh, uh, go in and dine in at these places or, or be going into the businesses. So just be patient. And uh, uh, yeah, if you can still uh, make it up into that area, there's still access. Uh, just plan for some extra time. Uh, all right, Bill, switching over to McKee Road. What do we got uh, for updates on that uh, project? 
Uh, McKee Road, we've got uh, some construction going on the north side between Seminole Highway and Verona Road, essentially. Well, it goes all the way up to Fitch Verona Road, but, um, but in the city part of things up to Commerce Park Drive, uh, we're going to be uh, completing that construction with the trails and the path on the north side. And then uh, they're going to be switching traffic to the outside lanes and, and doing some construction in the median area uh, later this week and early next week. Uh, and then uh, we're going to be looking at a closure at, of Commerce Park Drive that weekend of May 1st. So that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be closing that uh, access off of the key road onto Commerce Park Drive. And then there'll be a detour that's set up that goes uh, down Commerce Park Drive to Sub-Zero Parkway. Yeah, and that, uh, you know, again, one of those uh, scenarios where <laughs> be patient uh, as uh, that construction continues on there. Uh, what uh, improvements are happening in there, Bill, for people who aren't familiar with this? Uh, this section of roadway is going to be uh, reconstructed to a four lane uh, construction. We're taking the bike lanes off of the road in this area and putting them onto a, a 10 foot wide pedestrian bike path on each side of the roadway. So uh, the, while the bikes won't be traveling on the road as much, uh, we will have those uh, pedestrian bikeways available for uh, anybody using that. Uh, we're also constructing a bridge over McKee Road at the Badger State, Tr Badger State Trail. There we go. Uh, and then the off ramp. So it'll be similar to what's over at the Military Ridge Trail at McKee, uh, so that we've got uh, pedestrians and bikes going over McKee Road that uh, will be a lot safer for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's become quite a busy, uh, busy road, especially when you get closer to Verona Road. So tying in, uh, I assume, too, to the Verona Road project uh, uh, with the new inner, uh, well, the under interchange. I don't know how you say that properly. You can correct me on that one, Bill, but uh, that uh, will roll in nice through through that area, correct? Yes, uh, everything will transition back uh, to where it needs to be, uh, travel through the area with bike lanes, off-road pedestrian facilities. So uh, we'll have a good connection all the way from the east end of Fitchburg to the west end of Fitchburg. Fantastic. Last project and one of my favorites, Fahey Glen. Tell us what's going on over there. Some really uh, big uh, movement over there uh, or, or yeah. continues. We've been uh, out there uh, pouring curb and gutter. They got the base course down for, for putting the roadway in. So uh, they'll be putting that in. Uh, uh, we're looking at some sidewalk going in after that and then uh, finishing up with the pavement. So uh, it'll get done sooner than we thought before July, before uh, July, so sometime in June, and uh, we'll get that opened up to traffic. Fantastic. Well, Bill, uh, always appreciate uh, having you on here. Uh, and I know your time is valuable, so we appreciate it. And uh, thanks for being patient as we were setting this up. A little behind the scenes work that Bill always has to sit through. And we appreciate it. And we'll uh, we'll be having you back on uh, next week and uh, get some more updates. Sound good? Sounds good. Be here. All right. <laughs> yeah, you have nowhere else to go, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is Bill Balky. Uh, appreciate his time as always. And of course, you can head out the website, fitchburgwi.gov, and we'll keep you updated on uh, uh, any additional closures and those uh, detours coming up as well. Uh, this has been your Fitchburg Road Construction Update. We'll see you next time.